A new wave of farmer protests swept across Europe this weekend. In France, the actions turned into street battles with dozens of injuries and arrests. French farm workers directed all their anger at President Emmanuel Macron, who was attending an international agricultural salon in Paris. Hundreds of farmers tried to break through security cordons at the event to personally air their grievances with Macron. Authorities deployed riot police, tear gas was used, and a fight ensued in which eight police officers were injured. According to French media, all the time while the clashes were going on, Macron was blocked in the building where the exhibition was held. And when the passion subsided, he tried to shift all responsibility to some chaos-sowing right-wing radicals. Nevertheless, Macron declared that at the legislative level he recognizes agriculture as the main common interest of the French nation. How such declarations will help save the agrarians, so far few understand. They don't hear us because for them we are pawns, labor union representatives say. Other promised measures include setting minimum prices that will protect agricultural incomes. This solution, while helping farmers, will lead to higher food prices, fueling inflation. In the Czech Republic, farmers on tractors crowded the historic center of Prague, demanding a review of unfair agricultural policies. In Rome, protesters cried out to the government for more support. To make their voices heard, they even brought a cow to the Pope's sermon in St. Peter's Square at the Vatican. In the Netherlands, demonstrators on tractors warned the country's leadership that 3,000 farms could soon go bankrupt. A similar situation in Spain, where thousands of protesters blocked the roads around Madrid. In Ireland, farmers have decided to organize their own political party because the government ignores them. Recently, Dublin decided to reduce the number of livestock in the country to reduce harmful emissions. The farmers call it absolute madness. A Poland-wide protest by farmers blocking highways and the border with Ukraine has been going on for almost a month. The main thing that unites European farmers is dissatisfaction with the EU policy in the agricultural sphere. This includes the dubious green norms so beloved by Euro bureaucrats, the conclusion of agreements with third countries on the supply of cheap products, and the generally unhealthy economic situation in Europe. On Monday, the EU leadership gathered for a special assignment to discuss how to reduce the degree of tension. So far, reducing bureaucracy in agriculture is on the agenda. As they say in Brussels, farmers should work in the fields, not fill out paperwork. However, as always, the European authorities, when it comes to unpleasant moments for them, act slowly and cautiously. Only in March will a survey of farmers be conducted on how bureaucracy prevents them from working. By the summer, Brussels wants to get a clearer picture of what agrarians are unhappy with. And in the fall, there will be further analysis. Such slowness will only cause additional indignation of agricultural workers who want to solve their problems here and now. In the meantime, they are offered to reduce the number of inspections by controlling bodies and to revise penalties for violations during unforeseen events such as droughts and floods.